Concord has to be the most spectacular failure of a AAA game, uh, perhaps ever. I mean, the amount of money invested in this to the lack of players is just absurd. Uh, Sony really has egg on their face. And uh, with the developer out there spurging out, uh, all these crazy problems going on, uh, we've seen we've seen a lot uh, from this. Uh, they told us they didn't need the gamers. They told us that uh, they didn't want the the chuds uh, to to go away, bigot. You know, we we want to be a he him, and everything has backfired on them as their player counts have declined by forty two percent after the week first weekend. And we know what those were. <laughs> the peak was under seven hundred. This game's dead. And it's only a multiplayer game. You can't play this game. There's no solo mode. If you don't have other people to play with, there's nothing to do. It's over. This is this is completely off the radar. It is a complete loss. It's never coming back. Uh, and uh, you know the world's better off for it. Let's make fun of Concord, and uh, we'll even show you what the access media is saying about this in the fake j- j- journalism. They can't even cover for it anymore, and it's amazing. All right, my name's John Delarose. Everybody, please hit the like and subscribe button. Join us here as we cover the most important things in pop culture news. If you like great science fiction, if you want to have a lot of fun, I have a graphic novel on Kickstarter right now, and you see we have hit the thirty thousand dollar marker, a huge success, our biggest yet. I would love for you to back this and uh, and support our work support our channel right here and get a great comic uh for your troubles it's a lot of fun it's in the description below you can check it out here thank you guys so much for the tremendous support it's been amazing so far and the best is yet to come we still got 20 days left awesome all right so firewalk studios conquered had the worst launches of the year it's getting even worse as the player count declined 42 percent in its first weekend according to steam db the game had a peak concurrent player count of 697 dismal Released Friday, August 23rd. That peak concurrent number declined to 402 on Sunday. Uh, and it's even worse now, guys. So if you, uh, I've seen this morning, uh, less than 100 players. Uh, it is, uh, that, that, that is a, a first week drop off like I've never seen. You'd, you'd think word of mouth would start to spread about it at this point. As far as sales, estimates range from uh, gamalytic uh, estimating it sold over 7,300 copies, while VG Insights estimates sold 12,000. Player Tracker r- believes it sold 13,000. So even if we are generous to it and say it did actually get its 13,000, uh, we're looking at a $519,000 uh, sales of this. Uh, and that doesn't count platform fees, things like that. So uh, if generously, $520,000, this game cost $200 million in eight years to make. They're down 150, uh, I'm sorry, not $2 million. Uh, and uh, and uh, so they're down about $1.5 million on this. That's, uh, that's wild, absolutely wild. This game's been in development for around eight years. I've been there for almost five of them. We don't get a lot of launch days in our careers, so it's special for a ton of reasons. Oblige, give me some good vibes today. <laughs> um, so the development team is planning to maintenance and update into the game for the foreseeable future. He said, Concord has so much humanity and depth to it. I really hope people give it a shot. Insanely proud of the game. We're strapped in and ready to push it for years to come. Oof. Not going to go well. It's not going to be for weeks to come at this rate. Uh, it's super crazy. So Concord right now is a, in a vicious circle of failure, according to Captain Kuba. Uh, Because now even the people who were remotely interested in it won't buy it because there's no one playing. If PlayStation hopes to save it, they're going to have to make it free to play ASAP. Wow. Yeah, that's the deal. Uh, $39.99 for a game that's a clone of like Overwatch, which is free to play. Uh, You got an uphill battle right there. You make it woke on top of that. There's no interest in this. And even if they make it free to play, I don't see it just shooting up the charts or anything that fast. It's it's too late at this point. People have seen it. People understand that it's a disaster. Steam has been a major flop. Uh, we'll see if the numbers go up or down in the coming days. They've been going down. It's it's uh, it's at going going in a hundred at this point. Can you imagine only having a hundred players? Here we are, 198 in game in this screenshot. Looks like just the Firewalk Studios employees are the only ones playing Concord currently. Oh, their hard work shouldn't be left to die. PlayStation doesn't have to wait until next month to go free to play. Oof. So um, (laughs) PC Gamer 
decided to even actually cover this, believe it or not. This is absolutely uh, crazier. This doesn't look promising. Conquered PC players are having a hard time finding matches thanks to ridiculously low player counts. Oof. 96 is the lowly and loneliest number. Uh, so I guess it's even dropping below uh, as of two hours ago. Crazy stuff. And as you can see, this is why. Uh, you get woke, you make it diversity the game. Nobody wants to play this. Nobody's interested in their like little race propaganda, their little pronoun propaganda uh, when they're trying to play a shooter game. It's that simple. And they did advertise it like this. They, they put LGBTQ plus and political as the major front page tags on Steam. And then once that didn't go well for them, <laughs> they, they had them removed and had them banned. Uh, it's absolutely crazy. So during its early access, it was hard for PC players to find games without queuing uh, in console lobbies. At the time, I gave Concord full benefit of the doubt, deciding to chalk it up as to a slow early access. Remember, even back then, people weren't playing. The early access, the beta, people just did not come in for this. They, it was dead on arrival. Unfortunately, things have gotten, uh, not, haven't gotten better since the game became available for everyone. There are currently 96 players in. It's off peak hours, but having a 24-hour peak of 276, all-time peak of a 697. It's pretty damning, and it is. There are no public records for player counts on PlayStation. This is all we have to go on for its popularity, and that and that's about it. There's not there's not a lot more players playing on PlayStation. Steam's where it's at. I can tell you that right now. You might you might double the account at most. I waited eight minutes for matchmaking. It timed out. One player says, "I love the game. I want to play it. Unfortunately, I can't wait eight minutes plus between games. So I decided to play something else. Come back on during peak hours. This doesn't look promising at all. Oof. And those are the woke people who are still involved in this. They're kind of just like, I'm going to give up on it that fast. And that just goes to show, like you have your little political element to your game." You don't get a cause based on this. People are not interested in your politics. They're not interested in putting this in. Overall, players are just going to go, okay, uh, you know, I'm not going to spend 10 minutes in a, in a lobby queue to get timed out and not be able to play when I can go play something else or I can have a game that actually has a single player game. Uh, there's not enough activists out there uh, who, who, who are going to push to make this work just for your little cause. Uh, and when you made this a cause, and they did make this a cause, they made this entire thing a big political movement. That's what they wanted. They told gamers to buzz off. Gamers said, we don't want this kind of thing in our games, and they did not care whatsoever. Uh, you know, this is the result that you get. You get woke, and you go broke every single time. Every game that's got the DEI agenda this year has been failing. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League, killed their player base. Dustborn has even less of a player base than this. It is a complete train wreck every single time. And you see when you, and even Star Wars Outlaws, I mean, we did the video earlier this morning showing uh, that reviews are bad. We're going to have a very similar drop off with this because Ubisoft decided to, you know, make Space Karen the accessible uh, ugly woman uh, who, uh, who, you know, does her, does her little uh, strong female lead things and it didn't work. And that's it. So absolutely crazy, but this is how it goes. Uh, so the PC gamer person says uh, they have had a long wait, uh, wait times over the weekend, seven minutes before a game. Uh, I've found plenty other games that have similarly long queues, but the difference is I'm not sure Conquered is worth the wait. And that's the other thing. Conquered as a game doesn't have much to it if other than Overwatch. <laughs> you might as well go play Overwatch. So like, why would you wait when you can have Overwatch when there's not going to be a queue that's like that? Uh, so when <laughs> that's the thing. All of these SJWs who make these types of games just copy paste other games. Even even Star Wars Outlaws, it's being compared to you know Red Dead Redemption, but in space. It's not like they did a brand new cool game that's like different than anything else. It just slapped a Star Wars skin on it. They slapped their Conquered skin on Overwatch, and it didn't work. So you might as well just go play other games because that mechanic already exists. And so unless you're going to actually do something creative. Like, you're never going to get anywhere with this kind of thing. It's pretty obvious. But these guys don't have a creative bone in their bodies. That's That's been the case with all the woke stuff all the way across media. All they do is take other properties and kind of just, like, turn them black, turn them gay, turn them fat, uh, and then ruin it, right? And uh, they, they, they never make anything of their own. You never, you never hear of anything, like, unique or new coming out of these people. It's always something different. Even Dustborn, which is, quote, its own game, it was caught, like, stealing 3D assets from J Grand Theft Auto, None of these people have any creativity whatsoever. And uh, and until they get out of the gaming industry, until they're just gone back to like the DNC where they belong or whatnot, it's they're just going to be losing major money. Maybe Sony will learn. I kind of doubt it, though. 
What do you think? Leave a comment down below uh, about this. Or are you waiting in the Concord Q rooms? Hit the like and subscribe button, my friends. And please make sure to back the Hidden Emperor. This is real creativity. This is a wonderful comic book. You'll love this. And I appreciate you guys so much for supporting our artistic efforts. We are trying to create the culture, not just complain about things here. Do something different. And you are the best.